Hey folks, this is Bob from PreppingPractice.com. Uh, when we had this uh, power outage recently, we lost our heat. Uh, so after uh, the electricity came back on, uh, came down and I took a look at the furnace to see what actually powers the furnace. And it ends up there's one single uh, line, 110 volts, that connects to the furnace. You know, the other end of that line connects to the uh, circuit breaker over here. So originally I was going to purchase a transfer switch here and then uh, if the electricity went off I'd flip the switch, hook my uh, generator into the, the uh, transfer switch to power the furnace. Now thinking that through I don't have a permanent generator attached. All, all my electrical devices are portable. I have this one here. <sighs> I'm building this one here. You know that'll have uh, you know, with these deep cell batteries on it, it'll have the inverter, etc. So everything I'm doing is portable, so I can move them from uh, place to place. So considering that fact, what uh, I did instead is I just uh, installed an outlet, cut the wire, installed an outlet, installed the plug on the other end of the wire. So this end of the wire connects to the circuit breaker that goes into the outlet. Uh, then you have the plug here. This end of the, the wire travels to the furnace. So right now, the furnace is running uh, from there. If electricity goes out, I can just unplug this plug and then connect an extension cord over to my uh, solar power generator over here. That will power the furnace. I hooked up uh, a watt meter to my furnace <clears throat> and it only draws about 500 watts with the fan on. So uh, this uh, generator over here will handle that uh, very easily. So we tested it, it works. This is a very simple fix for those that are in the uh, northern states, for example, that uh, need heat during the winter. Uh, myself, I have a basement, so I have access to this fairly easy. You know, some, some furnaces are not in such uh, convenient places. But if you do have access to it, uh, what I would suggest is uh, just go buy these parts at your local hardware store. I believe these cost me all of $10. Uh, you know for the outlet and the plug. Uh, I bought the type of plug here that has screws So to connect it to the wire is fairly easy. Uh, you know, I could have done this <clears throat> myself <clears throat> I had my uh, electrician hook it up and steady charge mail of $40 to hook that up But uh, in my opinion that is well worth it. So uh, in a short-term uh, electric down scenario uh, This will power your furnace uh, at least mine um, yours may be different <clears throat> Now, if it's a true grid down scenario, uh, the, there's those that state that the, uh, the natural gas would most likely stop flowing. So at that point, it doesn't matter if you have electricity to your furnace or not. Without the gas, you're not going to have heat. But this is a very good idea uh, to have this hooked up and ready to go in case your electricity goes down for at least until the, uh, as long as your gas is flowing, uh, you'll be able to power your furnace with an alternate uh, electricity source. Uh, you know, that could be a gasoline power generator, or mine's a solar power generator, uh, or even a simple inverter hooked up to a battery uh, would power this furnace. So uh, I hope that helps you out. All right, have a good one. Bye-bye.